Hi guys, welcome back to Model Trains and Such. Uh, just thought I'd bring you up on a little update of the 5 inch gauge electric. Um, it is now a rolling chassis. I've glued the wheels on, put the axle boxes onto the frames. I'll turn you around so you can see it. It's a little makeshift bench that I made. Only It's, a, it's only a box with bit of wood on top of it but now it's a, a rolling chassis what I've done is like I said in the previous video I was going to glue these wheels on they're now all glued on um, if you can see down there there is a little bit of brass shining up now that is in between the wheel and the bearing inside the axle box these are the little drive cogs i'm going to use i might actually end up taking one of these wheel sets out and turning it round, spinning it round, so that i can mount my motors i'm not sure where i'm going to mount the motors yet i think i probably will have to turn one of these round because that's probably going to be the wrong way so i'm hoping i can fit both motors in the middle there um, that's the motor that's going on it that's on the lathe there's one there there's also one there that's getting donated from this little project I had in the go so I'm basically salvaging parts from this to go on to that yeah I'm, uh, I'm really pleased how it's going so far you can see that's rolling rather nicely I was actually surprised how well it did actually roll <laughs> um, those shafts they're stuck out there for a reason oh loose bolt there wants tightening up but yeah that's how far I've got I actually got some new plates I drilled all these holes that one there I missed it slightly but it doesn't matter it's coming on quite nice. The next part will be figuring out where I want the motors, making sure I can actually get two motors in the middle here. If I can, ideal. If I can't, then I'll have to look at something else, maybe move these stretcher bars. I have, a, I have just have one in the middle, and I'll be motor there and there. But if I can get two motors in there, one that way, and one the other way that'll be uh, really good I will have to take the both axle sets out to put the drive belts on here because you're probably thinking well you can't put a drive belt on there so you got to cut it to put it on but no I have to drop it put the drive belt on and work out what I'm going to do with it the idea is to <clears throat> excuse me I've got, I'm full of cold at the minute Got a piece of plate that's from there to there, that width all the way across, and hopefully I can just mount your motors from that. Then after that, it will be wiring up. But I'm I'm really pleased how this has turned out. It rolls really nicely, and there's hardly any. It's a little bit of side play, but you, you, you need that movement to, for it to be able to move on the track. So sorry it's been quite a while since I've done a video. Um, busy with work and I only really get in here a couple of hours in an evening. So before you know it, you, most of your time's taken up. But it's it's coming on well. What have I spent on this so far? I would say um, the wheels, they were the most expensive. I think they were £50 a pair and I got axles with them. I actually donated the axles to my dad because I actually bought these out to half inch diameter because these, these are half inch shafts. 
So I barred them out, fitted them, glued them to the correct gauge. I actually che checked it on my little uh, piece of track down there. And it did actually fit quite nice. So, what is next? Coupler needs to go in there. Work out where I get the motors on, or where I can put them. I actually need to source up some plate for the tops, the whole top of it. So if I can blank it off, it will be ideal. Um, then it will be wire why, why up with the two batteries and a test run on the track. I do intend, I'm thinking about it, do I put some nice connecting rods on here? Two each side, or one each side rather. I'm not sure. Um, I have to see what it goes around the track like to start with, but to say that I only salvaged them from another chassis Drilled, drilled all them out, bolted them on. It's not looking too bad. I don't think, anyway. We can only do what do and try. So, yeah. That's just a quick one for what I've been doing. Um, hopefully, next time... I put a video up and I've done a bit more. I should have a plate on top of here and maybe wiring up. We shall see. Mm. We shall see. Hope you've enjoyed this little quick update and we'll catch you on the next.